What's up everyone, Ronix from Ronix Photography and today I'm going to be giving you guys free Photoshop actions for your retouching and these actions are, are meant to upgrade your retouching and uh, part of these actions I have uh, the frequency separation action, uh, the dodge and burn action, uh, the lead enhancing action, uh, the eyeshadow enhancing action and the eye and teeth whitening actions so that you guys can use them to enhance your beauty photography or makeup photography for all your parties so before i can go ahead this image i second the photographer is called james fine and i'm going to put his instagram link in the description so that you guys can check him out he is an amazing photographer and for the actions i'm also going to be giving you guys the download link in the description of this video so let me show you guys how these actions really work on your parties and how you can apply them or use them in and for your parties so first of all i want to show you guys uh this is like a disclaimer actions are just meant to fasten your retouching process in photoshop so uh let me first show you guys how first of all we import these actions into photoshop so just come right here to window uh, come to actions and when you click ac uh, actions uh, you get this box right here it will open up automatically so when you uh, make sure it is selected and come right here to windows and come to load actions so when you click load actions it will take you while uh, the actions were stored or kept in your pc or computer then uh, you'll click the actions you want and click load so they will appear right here so that is how you import actions into photoshop so uh, these are the actions i'm going to be giving you guys first of all uh we have uh, the dodge and burn action so when you click uh, the action let me show you guys how these actions really work so you're going to come and click uh, the action right here so when you click the action uh, this is the dodge and burn action what this is yeah uh, is meant to help you with uh dodging and burning um basically is enhancing the highlights and shadows for your portraits so remember when you're doing your frequency separation it tends to flatten out our images so a dodging and burning is meant to bring back those shapes or dimensions to uh, the image so it is more of highlighting and contouring of our portraits in photoshop so let me show you guys what how this action uh really work so click on the action and uh, click the play icon so it is done applying or playing so just make sure you select uh, your dodge remember we, when we are dodging we dodge the highlights and when you are burning we burn the shadows so dodging is more of enhancing the highlights and burning is more of enhancing the shadows so make sure the black mask is selected come and get your brush make sure white is on top or on the foreground or you can just toggle by getting white on top and uh, to reset and get back this as it was you can just click on this box right here so after getting your brush make sure the opacity is at around nine percent or ten so we are going to uh, paint with a white brush on a black mask so remember we are just enhancing the highlights so just paint over each and every area that initially had a highlight so i think we have i'm just basically showing you guys how uh, these actions work so just paint over that area that you feel like should have had a highlight so you can just come to the color uh, color bonds and enhance them so come to your burn and just enhance uh, those areas that you feel like should have had shadows on this portrait you can as well come to the eyeshadow area and just enhance them so let me turn uh, turn off the black and white layer so we we can see before and after so this is the before after before after you can see you can as well come back to this area right here and enhance uh this dark part yeah you can see what it does so this is uh basically uh the dodging and burning action you can see how it has transformed the image and it has brought back the beautiful shape so I'm going to activate this group and I'm going to delete the group so let me show you guys the second action and this is the lip enhancement action uh, it is meant to make the lipstick or a lip gloss pop 
for all our beauty images or beauty portraits so click on it and uh, play it so it will make sure it creates the black mask so your brush is selected make sure the opacity and the flow at, at 100 so just zoom in a little bit and uh, paint over only the lip area of uh, your portrait so and don't worry if at all you make a mistake or paint over like another area you can make sure you just come and toggle and get a uh, black on top and uh, delete or erase on that particular area that you may have uh, done a mistake on to so I think we are done with the lip enhancement so let's say before and after you can see the difference right here so let me just increase on the opacity so that you guys can see as uh, the effect of uh, this so you can see this is the before after before after you can see how popping the lips have become so uh, you can just come and reduce on the opacity if at all you feel it is too much for your liking so let me show you guys uh, the other action i have for you guys uh that is the eyeshadow popper action so just select it and play it i'm sorry about this let me uh, delete uh, these layers right here so that i can show you guys uh the eyeshadow popper action so play it and when you play it of course a uh, black is going to be selected make sure it is a white brush and the opacity and the flat 100 so let's uh, paint over at uh, the eyeshadow of our model so let's just paint over the eyeshadow so you really have to be careful while doing this so you can just increase on the opacity to intensify it so you can see before after before after you can see how it has transformed our beauty portrait so let's um, delete that then we can also do the eyebrow darkening action so just come and play it so you can zoom in and uh, paint over as uh, the eyebrows for the model to uh, darken them you can just uh, paint over you really have to be careful with this so let's see the before and after before after so you can as well increase on the opacity if at all you feel it was uh, not enough for you so you can see before after before after then let me show you guys how uh, you can still do the same for the eyelashes and now lastly it is at uh, the eye and teeth whitening action so let's delete this and uh do the eye and teeth whitening so make sure it is selected and uh we are going to play the action so let's zoom into the eyes yeah and now we are going to paint over only and only the white area of the eye you can see it is already whitening uh, the eyes for our model so remember it is more of a cooling action remember most of the time uh, the eyes really uh, have warmth in them that's why we are adding this cooling eye white uh, eye and teeth whitening action so you can see the before and the after before after so you can just come and reduce on the opacity if at all you feel uh, the intensity is too much for the action and as a bonus i'm going to uh, be giving you guys uh, my frequency separation action as uh, the one i use for my portrait so that you can fasten your retouching for uh, your portraits so just play the action and uh, it will just continue loading so click continue and as you know this step as usual uh, is for blurring out uh, the skin textures so make sure you zoom out until you see the area that has uh, much textures so we shall go with 8.5 and if at all we would love to learn about uh, frequency separation sorry frequency separation in depth i'm going to be giving you guys the link above here so that you can learn more about frequency separation and how to apply it for the best of your retouching processes in photoshop so your action is going to play and and it's going to load i don't know why my pc is really slow for today and yeah i think that is fine so we are done at doing at the frequency separation action so as you can see it has already created for us the frequency separation group right here and now you can just continue uh, retouching your frequent uh, using frequency separation you can see 
when you open the group we had uh, we have the high frequency and the low frequency so you can uh, continue retouching so this video today has been about my giveaway for my portraits or beauty retouching my best actions the ones i use for all my beauty images in photoshop and we have the eye and teeth whitening action the lip enhancement action the eyeshadow popping action and we have the eyebrow and eyelashes popping action and the dodging and burning action plus the frequency separation action and i'm going to put the link for you guys to download these actions for free for supporting this channel i'm ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet another tutorial on this channel and stay safe